Hello and welcome to another edition of SCFC Fan TV. If you've been watching recently, you'll have seen that we're currently doing our best 11, where we pick one each and then decide of who's the best. Last week's show, where we had, where we decided Tommy Sorensen was our goalkeeper, a great choice. Um, as you know, I was outnumbered two to one. But we decided at the end of the show, Tommy Sorensen was the best. Tonight, we're going to be doing our best right back. So... Mike, you can go first this week. Who was your greatest ever right back? I will go first because no doubt nobody will have anything else to say after it. It's <laughs> Phil Bardsley. Um, it's what? always it's always going to be Phil Bardsley, an absolute enforcer as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, I don't know how many games he lost stats-wise, but he never lost a fight. Um, <laughs> so he, my kind of player. He, he would he have slot straight in into really. Yeah, he'd have slot straight into my Sunday league team, no problems whatsoever. So, yeah, Phil Barsley for me, absolute. That's what we are missing at the moment in in Sunderland teams. Characters like that, an absolute leader, an absolute stonewall. A bit so, of fight, yeah. a bit of bite. Yeah, good shout. Yeah. Come on, uh, see, I, I want to say Barsley as well, but I am going to go different, although I might in my argument ruin my own argument if this makes <laughs> sense so be prepared for this right so it's naira nosworthy oh nugsy because he's an absolute legend and he's he's unreal but he did he did play most of the games for us at center half i will say and the ones at right back were not the best but I'm trying to think ahead because I can't put him in our centre backs pair <laughs> because there's just better options than him. But I'm I'm speaking from I, I was at every home game that season where we only got 15 points, and when we replayed Fulham, and even though they were one nil up, but we won. Nosworthy was the only reason we won that game. Driving down the wing, crossing it in for Chris Brown to get on it. Chris Brown's running around celebrating with the stadium. No one's going near him because Nyron's like leaping into the crowd, like, oh, we've won a game, we've won a match. And it was just, he's just a legend for that one. Playing away at Middlesbrough, he, we're 2 0 up, trying to see out the game. He's on the halfway line. He goes to pass it back to the keeper and kicks it out for a corner. And you're just like, what, how what? have you? And like, Mick McCarthy's face was like, <laughs> like, we're trying to see out our first win in September. And it's just, I just loved him and he played 100 I've got stats he played 117 times for Sunderland never scored he did score in pre-season against I think Sport in Lisbon but of course that doesn't count yeah. um, I think he was unfairly pushed out by Steve Bruce when we had because he didn't did he have Bardsley at that time I think he might have done um, but he bought it he got rid of Collins as well and look Nyron I just did, I, yeah Nyron not worthy but I admit he probably did play most of his time at centre half mm. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. How many so, games? All Donald, Donald Love. How many Donald. games was it? One hundred and seventeen. I know Phil Bardsley's one seven four. Leave me alone. <laughs> two hundred. Oh, two hundred. Two well, hundred with eleven goals. Well, mine and, was and a semi final goal as well. Yeah. And against did he score against the Mags or am I making that up? No, yeah. he's got he won a penalty against the Mags. Didn't he? Didn't he? Well, I've gone back way before then. Mine was 199 games he played. Probably the same era as Tony Norman, actually, Mike. So I've gone for John Keir. Oh, wow. Absolute yes. legend. You know, when you're on about Tall hard men and hard men and hard right backs, John yeah. Keir would run through a brick wall. He was he was only small and slight, but I tell you what, I wouldn't let you get any of a tackle from him. Absolute rock hard, hard case. He played 199 games in nine seasons. Um he was actually nicknamed the tractor. Do you know why he was nicknamed the tractor? So we played Leeds and he absolutely crunched one of the Leeds players called Peter Haddock. Absolutely crunched him. After the game, Howard Wilkinson described Peter Haddock's leg as though he'd been run over by a tractor. And I think <laughs> Luke Supreme actually had a t shirt of the John Kidd the tractor up until a couple of years ago. Um Got 92 Cup final. Um, he missed the final because he was injured. And his final game for us, he actually broke his leg in his final game. Um, he still carried on playing, I thought you were going to say. Well, actually, not not carried on playing, but when he 
you know, not meant in that players, match. Most players, when they break the leg, you know, they're riding about and they've got the oxygen on. He actually sat up on the stretcher and kind of made on as though he's getting rode. He was rode off the pitch. <laughs> we're sitting there with a broken leg. Absolute legend. So for me, quite a way back, but I've gone for John Keir as my. Uh, so. My well, I, 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 okay, I'll, I'll realistically admit it's not gonna. You're not gonna relent and pick Myron Nosworthy <laughs> either of you. So, um, just, just, uh, just for, just for the fans. Yeah, that's it there. there. Oh, there you go. That's the one. <laughs> Gary, you know what? Seeing as I've almost got the deciding vote here, or I could leave it to the fan, just for the sheer laugh of breaking your leg and doing a rowboat. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go for John Kay. He sounds brilliant. Do you know what? It didn't even yeah. cross my mind. Love him as a player. I will concede to John Kay. I yeah, will okay. concede to John Kay. I think we we'll do that. Yeah, because that just like so. Because a bit like I'm um, again not of course the same thing. The way Trey Hume smashes into people, like everyone loves a bit of that. And if that's for the type of play, because I've never seen him, I'll, I'll fully admit I don't know him. But if that's what you're telling me, is like he's already, you know. A legend for me, and then doing a rowboat when you've got a broken leg just sounds brilliant. So, absolutely, when yeah. did... I'll, I'll relent and go John K. John K. Phil Barsley, when did we stop the club motto of get a right back that could absolutely leather an entire team on their own? You know, we need, we need more of them. Yeah, when we bought <laughs> Greg Halford and Don Love, probably. I was actually in between, I was, I was in between him and Chris Maitland because Chris Maitland was in the same. Yeah, Chris Maitland was on my list as like second, I think. I... Mm. You chose Nosworthy over Chris Maitin. Mate, I love Nyron <laughs> Nosworthy. I wanted us to get like taken over by like some sort of oil tycoon and have like 10 of the best players in the world and Nyron Nosworthy <laughs> sitting in the middle as like the ultimate passenger in our team. I just absolutely loved Nyron. He was he was my favorite player. Just loved him. <laughs> well, I'll take well, you right. Bring Guess who I'm picking at center half, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Club legend, I must admit him like yeah. Iconic, any iconic, yeah, video. has to be. I'm gonna find oh. that video of him just hoofing it out of play and I'll send it to you. It's so funny. Oh, Meet McCarthy's face would be better. Oh, no, it, that's on there. Trust me, that'll be there. <laughs> just looking at him like, What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Class, love it. Well, so that's two we've got. Um, we'll keep it. We have, on. did you, did we have any honorable mentions? Chris Bacon's oh, the, the honorable was, mention. Was the um, Virginie for that own goal, Southampton. Oh, aye. Goal when I was looking them up and he was listed as like one of our best ones, I was sitting there going, Oh god, we must have mustn't have been that good <laughs> in the sort of right back department. Um yeah, I think Chris Makin's your honorable mention, isn't he, in there to be to be that one. Because even someone like Stephen Wright, we weren't really doing well with him and it, it, it sort of didn't quite didn't quite come off. And he was always the first one replaced with Nosworthy and then Halford and Players like that. So. What was the one we had from Aston? Did he call him Aston Villa? Oh, Alan Hutton. Alan Hutton. I, he was, he Alan was Hutton. I really wish we'd bought him because he he was actually an attacking fullback, and he was also someone who would kick shit out of someone. Yeah. So it was a bit like I, I really wanted us to get him at the end of his loan spell, but I think we just it was like his wages. I think at yeah, Villa, so we just we just didn't bother. So, but he would have been a good one as well, but. Half a season, you can't put him in as a as our best no, eleven. The best eleven, though. What about the uh, last one? Patrick's Cartron scored a goal against the Mags. Oh yes, right. yes. <laughs> but again, how many games did he play? I think yeah, he not a lot. About <laughs> ten, didn't he? So it's got to right. be Donald Love then. Donald Love is is the man. Is the man. Yeah. Yeah. John Kay and Thomas Harrison with good start. I think good start. Good start. So next week, are we going to do centre half? Or Should we, we do a center half as a pairing? Yeah, and then we can try pairing. and sort of see if we agree on a two between us instead of like a, a thing. Because you may as well turn up with six like between us and then we'll pick our favorites out of there. Cool. Are, we we doing doing four, four, are we doing 4 4 2? Just about the same question. Yeah, two? I was thinking that. Are we doing Mike Bassett or are we trying <laughs> to be clever? <laughs> I think who's fine. Fine. Yeah, I who's think Who's volunteering for the whiteboard? Who's volunteering for the yeah. whiteboard? We need to keep track of this. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to get Terry to draw it on for us and we'll take a picture and put it on the screen or on something. The screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I think, yeah, I think we'll do 4 4 two, Just keep it simple. Because even if you want to do, oh, he's an attacking midfielder, you can say he's an attacking centre mid and I'll play the other one as the, the deep lion. 
Next one. It, also, if you're watching, put yours in the comments below. So, you know, get your best goalkeeper and your best right back, and we'll we'll compare the teams from all the comments at the end of the season, or end of the end of the, the shows. But uh, that's another one done. So we're getting there. So everybody, thanks for yeah, watching. Two out of twelve. Manager included. Manager go. included. Manager yeah. included. That's going, that's going to I be. Think a we team. know the manager though, but I'll, I'm still going to argue all different ones for the sake of it. <laughs> oh, I've got a manager, and none of you will agree, so it's fine. David, we'll come to that. Howard Wilkinson, <laughs> Steve Cottle, Steve Bruce, no. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis Smith, Dennis Smith. Well, he's well. Goes to a couple. Bob Stoko, Martin Crosby. <laughs> Met him on a train too. <laughs> <laughs> right on that note, like I say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. Watch out for the next one and watch out for Thursday Night Live. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you later. Ta -ra.